The first thing I'm going to read is a poem from this book right here by Howard Starks. It's called Family Album, a collection of poetry. It's 16 poems, the whole book. Uh, it's everything Howard wrote. And primarily, it's the reason I write poetry. I was here at Southeastern, uh, a pre-law major, had Howard's classes, and didn't really know he wrote poetry. But uh, then I had Dennis Letts for a writing teacher in class, and Dennis read the poem that I'm about to read. And after I heard Dennis Letts read it, I thought, uh, that may be the best thing I ever heard, and I would like to try that. I don't think I ever got this good, but I've at least been trying now for about oh, 40 years. 40 more, I may have it now. But the title of this poem is called Running Boards. Running Boards. My God, I'd forgotten them, except for images of extras being quaint as they wait for Dillinger or Mob Barker to rob the bank. Now I choke on the goat smell of sun-hot, no-slip rubber ridges as I put my face close to find the magic of a board running and my back warms as I solemnly fit my skinny butt onto the running board and lean back against the fender's heat. Somewhere, back home, there's a Kodak shot of my Uncle Brownie and me sitting on the running board of a 1934 chocolate brown whippet touring sedan. I'm five, and he is 25. And he is talking to me. Uncle Brownie, that shy man died 30 years ago. He had brown hair, brown eyes, and brown skin that in the summer got as dark as his chocolate whippet. I had 12 uncles, but only Brownie talked to me when I was five. The others teased my freckles, called me Little Red, and laughed when I got mad right on cue. But Brownie leans back against the car and his voice is so deep it rumbles like tires on a plank bridge as he tells me about being a boy on Gator Mountain. His voice, I don't so much hear it as feel it through my bones as it vibrates against my back and bottom and is all mixed up with the feel of no slip rubber. Brownie remembers how it felt being five. And that same summer, well, I yearned to be like the older kids who stood on running boards hooking one arm on the window post riding like Vikings, free in the wind. I usually rode on someone's lap. It was August, I think, for the oil field roads were sticky with the sun. He was on his way home from work, but stopped. He said, hop on, Howard, and hold on tight. And I hopped on and held on tight as he curved his brown arm around me and drove to the section line and back. Oh God, my eyes blurred with the wind lash of my hair, but I watched the black road running, running away under me. Thereafter, my life was a different thing. Now, like I said, uh, I didn't read that nearly as well as Dennis Letts, but then again, I've never been in a movie like he has. Either. It's the human experience. You know, it's, that's how kids are. There's several lines in there that are key, and they're, they're just really critical. Of course, the, I usually wrote on someone's lap, uh, but at the end, uh, when he looks down and he sees that black road running, running away, it changes his life. He realizes how life works. And I heard that poem and it just impressed the absolute hell out of me and I decided this is when I'm going to be a writer. 
I, I wanted to create the same thing. And if I ever came close, I'm happy because Howard Starks, if you get a chance to lay your hands on this book, and it's uh, at Southeastern's College Bookstore, it's about the only place I know. It is awesome, all 16 poems. 